What up, y'all? It's your boy R to the A to the S. Yes. Rise here with Perceive with Caution Blog. Well, obviously, we are near the end of the year. So, we're getting down to crunch time. Albums coming out. And can't wait to close down, get a break from Perceive with Caution Blog. For Christmas time, shut it down and come back. 2011, Lord willing, if it keeps me alive. Amen, amen, and amen. Here today to review a female MC. Uh, many of you know in the secular arena, a big album is coming out by Nicki Minaj and her weird self entitled Pink Friday. And so I thought it'd be good to highlight. Kristen, female MC, who's promoting a different lifestyle than your girl, Nikki Minaj, all right? And so, her name is Rissa, not Rizza, she ain't part of the Wu-Tang Clan, but Rissa, R-S-A. And Rissa is not for the East Coast. Rissa is not for the West Coast. Rissa is not from the Midwest. Rissa is not from down south. But doggone, I know y'all wonder, where's she from? She's not even from America. Rissa is from the Bahamas. All right? Bahamas. And so, I've never heard no rappers from Bahamas, even in the secular. I'm not familiar. I'm sure there are some. But we got a female MC. Her name is Rissa. Now, I know some of y'all are chauvinistic. You know what I'm saying? So... Obviously, you're not even going to listen to this. But nonetheless, amen. That's, ain't that a, is that a saying? Being a show? I don't know. We can look that up. But anyway, she has a mixtape. She has a couple of mixtapes. But I'm highlighting her, uh, the mixtape called Life After Dark. And first, I would advise you, if you want to check her out, you can just go to YouTube. Uh, type in Rissa, R-S-A, and she has a number of songs. You can go there, and she has her own little YouTube page. But one song I would say check out, it's called Rissa Changing Positions. And you get to see her little flavor. And if you're feeling it, you might want to download her mixtape, or her mixtapes. And the way you can get that is to type in www, I'm going to do it real slow, dot... R I I L I I M E D I A dot C O N com. So that's the website. If you want to check it out, check out her music, get her mixtape. Um, let me talk about her now. Style wise, in my opinion, this is my opinion. My opinion, she is a mixture of East Coast and Midwest. And what I mean by that is, it's more of the, like, I'm an MC type of rhyme. She does, she's not braggadocious or anything, but she has that confidence of that, that East Coast type of MC, all right? Flow-wise, again, it's a mixture of East Coast and that Midwest and the Chicago way. That, that the way they do, like, the double-time rap. You think about people in the shy, you know, in the secular. That's sort of like her style is like a mixture of the two uh, genres, all right? So she's East Coast mixed with Midwest. Beat-wise, sort of the same thing. East Coast, not boom bap, but East Coast beats mixed with some more of that Midwest type of flavor. Now, beat-wise... I recognize a couple of the beats. Some of these might be original beats. I'm not sure. I don't recognize them. I'm not claiming to be some expert on secular rap, but the ones I do recognize, uh, she uses the Nas's um, Hero. I forgot what album. That wasn't Street Disciple. I can't remember. It was one of them Nas's album where he did uh, Hero. It might have been his untitled. I can't remember. That was a long, long time ago. So she uses that beat, 
and she does a nice job. She know how the her biggest strength, in my opinion, as an MC is she know how to ride beats. And y'all know if you watch any of my blogs, y'all know I'm a stickler for riding beats. I don't care if you're a man, woman, whoever. You gotta be able to ride beats, man. And she know how to ride beats. And you're gonna enjoy that about her, in my opinion, the most. Uh Another good song on here is Jehovah Guide Me. You want you might want to check that out as there, Rissa, and then type in Jehovah Guide Me. She raps over the um, Run This Town, the Jay Z song, uh, over that beat. Again, she, she does a nice job. A little singing there, there as well on the hooks. So I'm fine. It's good. And so that is what she's like style wise. Theme wise, it's more of, I guess you can say, sound like she's talking to like one of her friends. So it's more personal than preaching at you. Though she is preaching, it's more like advice. Like she's talking to her friend, like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Watch out for this trap. Um, prayer. She talks about prayer. Um, living holy. I mean, that's like a big theme of her, living holy. The way you live in, watch the way you live, watch, watch your life, those type of things. Now, it is definitely, you know who she's talking about. You know she's a Christian. She's talking about Jesus. At the same time, a lot of her lyrics are scriptural, but it's not the obvious, like I'm quoting scripture, like John 3, 16, but it's more poetic scripturally but it's, it's like it's like scripture in a more poetic sense okay so you're gonna get the word you know what i'm saying thing wise it's definitely word based but it's not as explicit like i'm trying to teach you the word it's more in rap form uh things i did not like about this album she has like three songs with auto tunes on it and it doesn't sound good at all. The auto tunes don't really are not in tune. All right, as simple as that. It's not in tune. The singing doesn't sound right. She needs to really truly scrap that. Not just because I don't like auto tunes. Of course, I don't like auto tunes, but the harmony is not there with the auto tunes. Even if it, even if I didn't like it, I can't like the song if the harmony with the auto tunes. If it's not used right, it's not used right. That's just the blunt, honest truth. So it messes up some songs. Um, she has a song on here, Move. Her rap style is too simple. Doesn't blow me away. And so, those are my main complaints about this. Like I said, she can flow. She's an MC. She has, you know what I'm saying, that East Coast, Midwest style, if you like somebody with that type of flow, subject matter is scripturally based. So not, you ain't got to worry about that. But at the same time, I'm not, it's not, okay, let me teach you the scriptures. It's not in that style either. So it's more poetic she uses. You know what I'm saying? She's lyrical and all that. So again, since we are going to be bombarded with Nicki Minaj, let's check out. Chris the MC, it's a free mistake. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like it, just delete it. But I would say again, check her out. Go to YouTube. If you like it, go to her page. Download her mistakes. This is your boy Rise here with Proceed with Carson Blog. Kobe Sutton.